Good evening everyone. I am joined by the very lovely Candice. We are in our OEX Puma two-person tent on top of Ivinghoe Beacon, the hill fault in Buckinghamshire, which is the start of the Icknill Way and the end of the Ridgeway. You may remember from a previous video, I did a solo wild camp up here a few months back now. The views are amazing. Of course, it's winter now and the weather's been a little bit, uh, well, touch and go really, sort of misty rain, some winters you'd expect up this high, but the mist has cleared and the views are amazing outside. We've been up here a while and we're not alone. We're joined by James, Mary and Bella from Bad Hair Adventures. They're in the tent next to us. They've got their Van Gogh Halo three-person tent. And we've also bumped into some other wild campers up here as well. It's funny because last time I bumped into a guy called Andy that was camping in this very spot up here as well. And tonight there is a couple called Pip and Liam and they're bike packing, they've got their bikes and a tent and they've come up here as well. It's New Year's Eve, so our plan was the four or five of us, if you count the dog of course, to come up here and do a camp for New Year's Eve, celebrate the new year, the end of a decade together, rather than go down the pub and spend loads of money. Instead we got some drinks in, grabbed our camping equipment and decided to meet up here. So we got up here probably around 4 p.m. I would say. And yeah it was sort of misty rain, it wasn't particularly nice but we're not really due any heavy rain last time I checked anyway and the wind's meant to be quite light. We've had a little fire earlier outside in my fire tin thing. We've toasted some marshmallows uh, we've had like a, a melting chocolate fondue dipping thing. That plane overhead, by the way, means that we're not far from Luton Airport, <laughs> so we're probably under the main flight path. So we might hear that from time to time. But oh well. The trig point, the summit, and the topograph is is just over that way. We're sort of tucked behind this little like mound, so we're slightly out of the wind in one direction. And yeah, we're going to see in the new year together. So we're really looking forward to it. We've sat in the tents out of the out of the out of the bad weather just for a little bit. We've been in go outdoors today, my second home, <laughs> and I've got some Christmas money to spend. So uh, just for this camp, I thought I'd treat myself to a wayfair of beans and burgers for dinner, the best. Then. I've got a chocolate pudding for dessert and then for the morning I've got some beans and sausages as well. We've already drunk a three litre box of Hawks limited edition winter cider, that elephants on ice mould cider that I had on the Christmas camp if you remember. We've got, no that's my hot chocolate, I've got a hot chocolate here that we've just done. I'm using the OEX Takana gas stove it's not like the jet boil knockoff just because it's good in this kind of weather yeah we've got a massive pot of, of hawks mold cider at the moment lovely jubbly it's got a bit cold now but it, it's good hot or cold yeah we shared some cider and marshmallows and stuff with pip and liam and yeah they've cycled from watford to believe i think they're from the east end they said and they've got the train to Watford and then cycled cycled here haven't they to wild camp and then cycled back a mere 30 kilometers they said like it was nothing to them they've, they have they've, done big routes they've like, done some really big cycling routes yeah. they've cycled a long long way yeah. before and done all kinds like of stuff the Netherlands and that, so. yeah there they have haven't they yeah, yeah. It's only about 7 p.m. at the moment. Yeah, we'll... So we're, we're, we've got another five hours up here. So we're gonna do some food and just chill out really, probably even have a little doze for an hour, maybe. I've even got some pudding somewhere as well. We've got, as if we didn't have enough food, we've got, how am I gonna cook them? You uh, put them in the 
you put them in a pot. In the jet thing and just... Yeah, boiling water and it will just warm it up like that. So it's quite a good idea that. So there's like salted, I think a salted caramel. And that's a chocolate one, so we've got those. Huh? You should try the salted caramel one. You want the salted caramel one, yeah? Okay then. Your wish is my command. There we go. Yeah, anyway, so both getting pretty hungry now. You know what I'm going to say, enough yakking, let's get snacking. <laughs> we'll chat to you in a bit. Don't worry, there's not a fire in the tent, it's uh, just the Takana stove boiling away. I've got some water on the boil and I've done my beans and burgers and just about to tuck into that. It smells so good. I haven't had one of these for ages. They're a, a luxury because they're quite expensive but I thought it's New Year's Eve, treat yourself Tom. And then in the, the water in the stove I've got, I've just got like a little pudding, a salted caramel one so I just took it out of the wrapping, kept it in the tub thing with the lid on top. Just pierced a couple of holes in the lid and just chucked it in the water and see how it goes so I think the pudding might be ready actually turn that off there we go oh I had a burger then the size of these burgers nice mm. unbelievable How do I get the pudding out though? Get out of here. Without setting fire to myself. Use Candice's spoon. There we go. There's the pudding. Oh! That was close. <laughs> Proofs in the pudding. <laughs> boom boom. It's a bit. able to see it or not. But there's one end of it. It's upside down of course. It could do with probably being cooked for a little bit longer but I wasn't sure I didn't want to sort of like incinerate it or completely melt it but yeah it probably just needs a little bit longer in there but to be honest with you that works perfectly fine. That's actually a really good idea. Do to try a bit? Candice is getting out of her sleeping bag. She's determined. She must want a bit gone. You do, didn't you, Gordon? There you go. Is it warm? It's not. It needs to be in there for a bit longer, but it's, it's edible. I reckon. A little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. I'd eat it like that, to be honest. I wouldn't care. The thing is, I can't really put it back in there now, I've taken the lid off, so yeah. live and learn. But it does work, people. There you go. So, don't need your expensive puddings. I mean, that was about four quid. Those you can get like a pack of two for what? A couple of quid, something like that, if that. Depends where you go, so yeah. It's not a bad idea that. I'm gonna start doing more things like this, kind of trying to make my own ration packs and stuff. And, yeah. Oh, that's tasty, that is. Nice. <laughs> Got a little beer to try out tonight. This one's a 24-7. Be able to see that. 24-7, it's a session IPA. 4.7%. And it's by the Roosters Brewing Company since 1993 uh, four big hitting hops come together to create a sessionable hop forward pale ale with the intensity of a new world IPA Amarillo, Chinook and Simcoe from the USA work in harmony with New Zealand's Nelson Solvin 
to produce a punch bowl aroma of lemon, tangerine and gooseberry, followed by a balanced grapefruit bitterness. Roosters Brewing Company is an independent, family owned brewery and taproom based in Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Drink quality, not quantity. 136 calories per serving, there you go, 1.5 UK units. If you're preggers, don't drink it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyways, um, <laughs> cheers everyone to a happy new year and a good wild camp. Oh, that's got a smell to it. <laughs> Looks quite dark as well. Oh my god. You look like you don't like that. Oh, no, that's a. To be honest, I looked at the can and I thought that looks like a minger. <laughs> looks like a minger. <laughs> oh. Oh, straight away. Three. Three out of ten. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Go on, have a taste though. I didn't smell it. Do you, what, do you want it? I'll have it if you don't want it. Yep, there you go, Mary. Oh, it's rank. Oh, it tastes like poison. Yeah. Oh, it's poison. Get it out of our tent, yeah. quick. <laughs> <It's Why? laughs> yeah, that's what. Well, get it out. Just get it out. I mean, if you like that sort of stuff, people, I'm, I'm sure then that's the, the IPA for you, but it's not for us. So, 24 7. I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> 3 out of 10. Yeah, I have one more sip. Nah, I'm not getting any any of those tastes or flavours coming through at all. It's just really bitter. It's quite a thick taste to it as well. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to a good home, to the <laughs> tent next door. Let's get one of them burgers. Oh, yes. Have you ever seen someone so excited about eating a camping meal? <laughs> I love these things, they're brilliant. If I don't switch the camera off, I'll just keep waffling to you all night, so and it'll be the longest, most boring video ever. So I'll chat to you in a bit, everyone. Okay, here we are outside our tent, the OEX Puma two person. I apologise, I have done something really stupid and I've left the microphone back in the car all the way down over there somewhere so could be a bit windy, apologies, sorry not sorry yeah there's our tent, it's holding up pretty well so far we've been in there a while and it's been comfy here's James, Mary and Bella's tent, the Halo 300 Tents are still holding up fine. It's James and Mary's. There's ours. Been well cosy in there. Candice has been having a doze. I've been eating more food. From I think uh, I think Mary's got a bottle of champagne with her. Um, I've got another. Another side I'm going to crack out. These cheap Herefordshire cider companies, HCC, black pear, strong pear cider, 7.5%. That's going to be my, uh, my New Year drink. Just going to crack that open in a bit. It's been alright. Oh, there's, oh, there's lights coming on now that you can see them. Yeah, there's loads of lights appearing, people coming up here. So, it's quite cool. There's loads of lights appearing up here now, people are walking up here. I see about three, four lights. And there's a load more. That's mental. <laughs> oh. And they've got a fire as well. And they've got a fire up here as well. Yeah, up 
on the trig point and just see it just here okay a lot of people have turned up now there's probably at least 10 people or more there's more look they're everywhere now this is there's loads of them look there must be at least 20 people on on the summit at the moment maybe more here's liam <laughs> you're on camera mate <laughs> he had some serious farts earlier <laughs> got the, uh, the fire lit again winds actually died down a bit yeah, yeah. Like the there's so many people, people here. here this is crazy there's like families kids everyone so I reckon they've all been waiting in the car park probably just like celebrating and they've all decided to come up here we we'll chuck another log on that in a minute just keep it going yeah this is pretty cool now oh wow loads of people up here seriously it's like the surrounding areas descended on Ivinghoe Beacon <laughs> happy new year everyone not long to go now they've got a fire going they've got a fire over there like bigger fires than we've got this is insane honestly I'm losing track of how many people there are there's probably like 50 up here now, easily. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> There's Pip and Liam. And then... There's James and Mary and Bella. There's our little fire, our modest fire <laughs> that we've got. <laughs> and I thought that was a lot. I'm definitely doing this next year. New Year's Eve wild camp, it's got to be done. It's actually really nice now, you can start to hear all the fireworks going off around us. There's still people coming up here, look, standing at the screen torches. Feels like a little festival on top of a hill. It's come alive now, isn't it? Literally. This is so cool. It's like having a, um, you know, like each town has their own like, fireworks night and stuff. Like we've just camped straight in the middle of the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just this is where they all come every single new year. Yeah, for the last like hundred years or yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> we think we're gonna be alive, but no. No, never. No. Yeah. Yeah, look, let's have a look at there's our cider. Show us the cider we're having. There we go. It's very strong. Do you wanna try a bit? No. Alright, okay. No. I mean I've only had a couple of sips but I'm giving it I'm probably giving it a five and a half out of ten. It's not very pear tasting at all. Huh? Yeah, I know they've got a massive fire. Look, that is so cool. My God. Has he got a fireworks strapped to his back? So I don't know if we're going to get fireworks, but I think we might. Jesus, yeah. Yeah, Candy Sam people have got fireworks strapped to their backs. It's dodgy. Yeah, I saw it like, yeah, look, over there next to that big fire pit they have. Yeah, it's a bit risky. Anyway, well, it should be fun. Look how many people, there's still so many people turning up. <laughs> this is mad. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> Woo! There we go. Really close. <laughs> Pip has uh, bought Fail. some <laughs> small <laughs> mini sparks. Oh! I'm filming Pip bending over again. <laughs> 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 You've only just <laughs> met. Oh. Hey. Pressing noise. 
That was pretty good though. Oh, you can see him going off in the distance. There's loads. Wow. Everywhere. I can't believe the wind has died down just in the nick of time. How cool is this just to come up onto a hill for the night and share New Year's Eve with a complete bunch of strangers, people you've never met before, and celebrate it. This is so cool. Definitely do this again next year. Oh, it's incredible. There's people of all ages, all walks of life up here. It's incredible. Whoa, look at them over there. Wow. This is going to be a wild camp to remember and a new year to remember, definitely. Incredible. Okay. Happy New Year, everyone. Ah, oh, look, she's got the champagne out as well. <laughs> Brilliant, sorry I'm blinding you. Yeah, it's fine. It's all right. All night. Ah, yeah, go on, I'll have some, yeah. Another bottle. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> five out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Have better. But cheers. It's got to be done. Oh. Champagne. Cheers. Happy New Year. Oh. Happy New Year, Bella. Hey. hey! Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Excellent. am now and everyone that was on the hill has now gone home and everyone else has gone to sleep I think Pip and Liam are getting up quite early so we're going to aim to get up for around sunrise so we'll probably be up about half seven sunrise is just after 8 a.m. Uh, temperature has dropped the wind has completely died down uh, the clouds have gone all the stars are out and it's meant to get down to about between two and zero degrees so it's gonna be a cold one but uh, we should be pretty toasty so it's been really good it's been a really really good evening and a really memorable wild camp the tents held up brilliantly as well so Candice is asleep, or she's going to sleep. 
Yeah, we're going to get some sleep. So, we'll see you in a few hours' time. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, everyone. It's coming up to 8 a.m. Yeah. And everyone is awake now. And a lot of people have <laughs> appeared on the hill yeah. once again. And we believe they're all facing east, waiting for the sun to come up to, I suppose, welcome in the first sunrise of 2020, which is pretty cool. So they do a lot around here at Ivyo Beacon. This seems to be sort of their their focal point for celebrations and stuff. It's it's all very pagan, and it's pretty cool. Candice is loving that. She's like, yes, she's a fist pumps the air. It's all very kind of. We don't do it around here. Yeah, well, we haven't got any high points, no, have we? but we don't if anything. They do, do they, really? Yeah. We do anything like but that. But if, if they're celebrating something, like a you know, cultural event, it's like they come up here. I was like, that's kind of what they would have done yeah. hundreds or thousands of years ago, and that's really cool. And anyway, I'm just saying, but yeah, so there's a shit ton of people on the hill again. Um... James isn't too happy because there's a few dogs off leads <laughs> and Bella doesn't really get along with other dogs but that's another story for another day. Um, I slept okay. I mean, Candy says I slept really well because I snored all night and kept her awake uh, and she kept needing the toilet. Uh, oh, excuse me. But I don't know why I, I kind of... Um, I sort of turned a lot in the night, this this mat, there was a lot of cold spots on it, so as I've said before, I'm going to get another mat, definitely, like a better mat, <laughs> but other than that, I was really warm in the sleeping bag, um, I have my OEX, my new OEX bivvy over the top of it all, and I was just toasty, I, I don't really want to get out, but I've got to, because we've got to go home. Anyways, we're going to start getting some food on the go because that's much needed. I'm starving. Um, and we'll start getting the fire packed away as well and burying the ashes or I'll probably try and bag up most of the ashes in our rubbish and then whatever's left I'll just bury and cover over with the grass and the, the turf that I removed. So it'll look like we've never had a fire here. Um, and just start packing up stuff from the inside, really, of the tent.
beans and sausages in the morning. Brilliant. It's a good way for a meal this. Lovely. It's just us left on the hill. I can see a few cars in the car park still. Um, yeah, we're, we're working on packing away. I've got the fire pit all buried and covered over. Yeah, there, there, there we go, that's it. And, uh, yeah, basically I, I scooped out all the ash and, like, charred remains and stuff um, and just put them in a bag and then put that bag <coughs> in our rubbish bag. So, and then I just got some dirt from... <coughs> Oh bless you, it was Candice. The the violent sneeze that sounds like someone's being raped. That's that's Candice's sneeze. Good morning, beautiful. Anyway, um so yeah, and then I just got some dirt from all the surrounding mole hills because they've got a massive mole problem here at the moment. Um and there's just mole hills everywhere, so I've basically just got some dirt and then put it on the on top. I had some dirt left over that I that I'd sort of you know taken off the surface and put that back and then got some more dirt and from the mole hills and just made it out to look like a flattened mole hill really so I don't think that's too bad I'll probably get a bit more dirt before we go to top it up with because I can see a massive mole hill that's got a lot of loose dirt on it so I'll just take some from there and it shouldn't be a problem and we've even gone around looking for rubbish as well and picked up some stuff and picked up some beer bottles that people have left uh, Pip and Liam they've been walking around picking stuff up there they're very well seasoned wild campers it, it appears and they uh, yeah they know what they're doing so they're they're heading off they're just there getting their stuff together it's cool stuff it's all like bike packing stuff and yeah, it's cool. So we've been chatting about camping equipment, <laughs> as you do whenever you meet a fellow wild camper. You chat about equipment and places you've been and stuff. It's quite cool, that. Anyway, it's right. Breakfast is getting cold. <laughs> See you later. Nice to meet you. Pip and Liam are off now, they're heading off down that way, off of the hill fall. So good meeting them. And they're gone. And we're all packed up, leaving no trace. And can you spot where the fire was? No, because it looks like a molehill. Okay, well, we're all packed up and we're ready to head back down the hill fault, down towards the car park now. We just stood by the trig point, taking the views one last time. It's really nice up here. It's been a really good camp, brilliant way to celebrate New Year and it's something I'm probably going to be doing in the future, I think, is a, a New Year's Eve wild camp. So, I want to say a big thank you, of course, to the very lovely Candice for joining me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 
and I want to say a big thank you to James and Mary and Bella from Bad Hair Adventures. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. <laughs> Please do check out their channel, Bad Hair Adventures. They'll be doing a video of this camp as well. I'll put a link down below this video. And thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for 2019 and your support. And I hope you all have a prosperous 2020. So until next time, take care of yourselves, look after each other and stay safe. Be nice to each other. See you again soon. Cheers everyone. Bye.